Paranorm Girl presents The Tinfoil Hat 15. Welcome to Paranorm Girl's debut of the Tinfoil Hat 15 series. If you do not know what the THF is all about, let me tell you. Myself and a guest co host will armchair expert our way through an unedited, uncut, brazenly honest 15 minute expose and pontificatory exploration of all that we may know about any given paranormal topic. How do we go about choosing said topic, you might ask? We pull it from this here uh, tinfoil hat. Did you hear it? You all are very lucky indeed, by the way, as I have my skeptical believer in residence, Lee Fleming, back with me once again. Back once again. This is incredible. Rhyme animal. Oh, it's good to be back. That was lovely. Uh, so uh, this is this is how we're going to start this one. All right. Uh, how how do you think the rest of this is going to go? I have no clue. I looked at the list of topics we were putting together, and I know zero about all of them. You already <laughs> looked. You peeked. Well, there's more to come, oh, oh. and I'll 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 ask for more <laughs> at the end of the show too. We'll we'll get there, but we're just going to jump right in and and I don't know. See how this goes. I'm going to start the timer here. And just Couldn't be anything, the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. You know, there's no rules to this. <laughs> there's no rules. Uh, just anything you may think you know, anything that you've ever thought about, if you've never heard of it, that's fine. And then we'll just, uh, you know, if we run out of things to say about the topic, we'll just, we'll grab another one. Okay. All right? <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to start the timer now. And we are off. Let's grab our first subject here. It is... Transcendental Meditation. Oh, TM. What is that? This one I do know a little bit about. Talk. I don't know anything about it. Oh, well, that's that's the one where you have the, the mantra that you just repeat over and over again. Like, um, is like a really common one. That's Transcendental that's, Meditation? That's TM, yeah. What's the point? To transcend the your teeth. To transcend your teeth? Dent. Shut up. Um, right now. No, it's just it's just another form of meditation. It's just, you know, to kind of align your heart, mind, soul, and body into just one vibrated. TM, if I remember right, um, TM is about the vibrations. That's why the mantra is important because different mantras create certain different vibrations. Hmm. And um, um, is kind of the only one I remember. There's some other one. <laughs> There's some other like two or three. Syllable is that like ones, the? Huh, is that like the hue? Have you ever heard that? Like people are like that's a, I don't know that's a spiritual th- thing. That's, I think that's hue. probably a probably a form of it. Yeah, because yeah. it's just it's just making like a vibration in your like you can make up your own um, mantras and stuff too. Um, but they say it's better if it doesn't mean anything because if you use something that like is a real word, then you'll kind of start focusing on the word or what the word means or any relationship you have with the word so you want it to be um either something made up or a foreign word that you don't really know what it means it just sounds kind of cool so that it it, it's it's supposed to uh, it's because about the vibration so that you are not thinking is that correct yes okay if i'm understanding it right oh well that would make sense to me that sounds nice and relaxing actually have you ever done any meditation yourself Mm, uh not not tm i've uh listened to a couple podcasts on i wanted to start actually uh jerry seinfeld is a big uh tmer no No kidding like like half hour a day every day oh yeah huh i wonder uh I wonder if uh, Kundalini, like, fall. I've heard of Kundalini. I don't know much about it, mm. but I wonder if that falls into, I don't know, man. Like, like that's a whole world I know nothing about. Um, yeah. I have tried to m- just basic meditation, you know, I don't know what it's called, but, like, basic meditation, just sitting for five minutes, trying to be quiet, trying to... Mm. And I know you're not supposed to fight, like, things that come into your head. You're supposed mm-hmm. to let them come in and then mm-hmm. let them go. Right. Um, I don't know, man. I think like just the way that my brain works, I just, it's so hard. I know everybody says that, but it is so hard. Yeah. No, it is. Cause your mind, your mind doesn't want to just focus on one thing. Yeah. I, like, 
Man, yeah, like I've done mindfulness mind. meditation before, usually like on breathing, but you can use anything. You can just yeah. tactile senses or sound. Um, do you use it at all in your um, your counseling? I used to. Yeah, I used to. Do, oh, I used to do um, quite a. Used to do tactile. There's a um, there's a really good one that <clears throat> you see is is um, you take like a drop of. Uh, um, like hand lotion or now use hand sanitizer since that's everywhere. Um, but you just put like a drop on your finger and let it sit on your finger for, for a minute or two and just try and focus all your concentration on just the drop on your finger. Like, how does it feel? Is it, is it smooth? Is it slick? Is it slippery? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it warm? And just focus all your attention on that. Then spend a couple minutes um, just kind of rubbing it around your finger. Like put it on your index finger and then just oh, kind of rub it in with yeah. your thumb. And then just spend a couple minutes doing that Nothing. and just focus on. <laughs> 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 okay, oh, okay. Yeah. So, the, so the tactile, that's basically taking the place of the vibration in the transcendental meditation. Yeah, it's just focusing your attention on okay. on, on one thing. At, at if we are wrong about this, there are some angry people <laughs> listening right now. They're like, no, no, it's, that's not it, could, it at all. It could be some, <laughs> some we TM diehards out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hard hmm. hardcore TMers. Uh, uh, but that's yeah. all right, actually, because I wouldn't. I do. I do want to try try some try some TM, and uh, the more we know about it, the the, the better it'll be to start. But, sure. Well, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so if I got it completely wrong, somebody somebody let me know. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. If we got this completely wrong, if we are way off base, please reach out mm. and uh, tell me so. I do want to hear that. Criticize us, please. Yeah. yeah. But the people I've listened to that, that are consistent with it, they they fucking love it. What's that other, you listen to the, well, I, I started listening to it too, the podcast that you really like, and, and he does meditation. Oh, Tim Ferriss? Tim Ferriss. Tim, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if anybody out there is listening and listen to the Tim Ferriss podcast, he's amazing. He yeah, has on Tim some Fer- amazing guests. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he's into like I don't know how he has enough time in the day to fit all of these mind body enlightening mm-hmm. you know improvement things that he does. But yeah, yeah he well, does the meditations. That's as well. what he does for for a living now. It makes it a little easier when yeah. when your hobby's your job. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that, that would be nice. You just go out and you know spend a weekend doing some ayahuasca, and you still got income coming in, and <laughs> then you do a podcast on it and. Yeah, get more just talk about your experience with it. Yeah, all the way to make it. Live. He's really cool. I mean, he's really very good speaker. Yeah, he Great is. No, he's he's, really he's cool absolutely to enthralling to. to listen to. Um, um, but yeah, if you're interested in like TM or mindfulness meditation, he's got he's got a ton of episodes on different kind of meditations. Sure. Well, and then uh, I don't know, maybe to wrap up the the thoughts on the TM that this is the kind of meditation like that. That like yogis do, or like uh, like is it like Buddhist monks, or is that a different type of? Do you know like actually who mm. where it's originated? That I do not know. Yeah, I, I think they talked it, about it, but I don't, I don't I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of just like been born out of this whole new agey kind of more like westernized version I'm, bastardization of. I don't think so. I think it's yeah. I think it's an older like traditional one. Is it? Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's a hippy dippy thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that would definitely be cool to check out. Um, hey, we've got eight minutes left on the clock. You want to pull another? Mm. You, you go ahead, pull another tile here. No, <clears throat> another little <throat> piece of paper. Let's see what we got <clears throat> here. What are we talking <clears throat> about? I don't have my glasses on. So. <laughs> okay, I'll pull and <clears throat> go for another one. And it is. Ooh, palmistry. Ah. Ah, I do know a little bit about this. I once upon a time I fancied myself a a, a wee a palmister. Palmer of palms. <laughs> or I don't know. It was very awkward. Um yeah, yeah, like reading the reading the lines on the hands. It's it's fascinating. Um getting down to the it, I I, I always got to the point, and I say always because I've attempted this numerous times to like get into it because initially I find it very fascinating. I'm like, oh, that's so cool to be able to do that. And then I always reach this block, this this roadblock of just not being able to go any further because like, I mean, have you ever just stared at your own lines and like, you know, like you see all the little tributaries coming off the main ones and, and all these, uh, any different, like, 
differentiating lines from other people's lines or whatever I see in books. I get I just get very confused and very frustrated it's with a lot it. Of, a lot of lines. There, <laughs> there are a lot of lines. And, uh, you know, it, it, there's always that nagging doubt in the back of my head. I'm like, well, this could be the, the lifeline that, you know, describes you know, is going to show me, you know, the time of my life, I'm going to come into a relationship. And this is where I'm going to have children, or this could just be my own dumb genetics. And that's the design that it's given me on my hand. So Hmm. I don't know. Do you know anything about beyond and above what I've (laughs) rambled on about? It's just uh, palmistry is my third favorite. Third favorite. There's Christmas Topic? tree, magnolia tree, and palmist tree. You're being my three favorite extra trees. corny tonight. Extra. You're look, just being look, extra. Look below the surface. The three are related. <laughs> I've looked below the surface look for 13 below the, years. The three are related. <laughs> well, in we got 15 minutes. I can't explain it to you. Uh, palmistry, palmistry is 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 a topic like I remember growing up like being very aware of it like there's certain topics in the paranormal world uh, supernatural stuff that you know if you're exposed to this stuff at all growing up like this is going to be one of them because you know when you see a movie and you see that character of the fortune teller you know what what is she doing you know she's reading your palm or like a, a historical romance or something you know it's they used to do that back in the Victorian area to because they were bored rich people and mm-hmm. that's what they would do um, you know, same same ideas like tarot card reading or these are yeah. like well known yeah. ideas. Yeah, I don't know. I would, I would like to think that there's some sort of credence to it, but I don't know. It seems pretty rant. Seems kind of like up there with like phrenology. What's phrenology? The bumps in your head. What? Yeah. What? It's, it's like it's like palmistry. People but read bumps on their heads. Yeah, people read bumps in your head. What? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, it's the same same kind of thing, just different body part. Okay, okay. Well, there's like <clears> a, <throat> I don't know what it's called, but there's the same idea for the foot, too. You can read the foot. Yeah, that's, is that reflexology? Mm-hmm, maybe. I mean, that's just like reflexology. Isn't that just like points that you push? I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pressure yeah, points. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. It is a little, little random. Um, and that's part, maybe that's part of my reservation too, is that it's not just frustrating, but it's also like just this nagging thought of like, really, you know, is this, <laughs> is this just random? <laughs> all right. All right. No, look, 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 we got, we got, we got just, we got three and a half minutes left. I think we should do one more topic and hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully one of us will know something <laughs> about it. <laughs> this is part yeah. of the excitement, man. Okay. Hopefully it's not something that I know a ton about and then I've only got three minutes to talk about. That that would be even worse. The odds of that are pretty Ooh, low. All right, poltergeist. Ah. Speed round, because I know we both know something about this. What do you know about poltergeist? They're mischievous ghosts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they they suck your daughter into the TV set. That Yes, that was a terrifying movie, by the way. I was traumatized mm. as a child. Yeah, I couldn't. I used to sleep on the couch when I was a little kid because I thought it was more comfortable. But there, we had a big uh, apple tree in the in the front yard, and after watching Poltergeist, I couldn't oh, I couldn't sleep on the couch no. anymore because the branches yeah. were like not too far from yeah. the from the window. Yeah. Was well, so. Let's see. I uh, I learned about Poltergeist very early on. Of course, the movie. Um, you know, the, the Hollywood version of the poltergeist. I think, let's see, what do I know about it? I think it means noisy ghost. I think that's what it means. Um, and didn't they finally come out like, like it's kind of a, I don't know if it's proven or semi-proven in the scientific field that the poltergeist activity is actually caused by, usually caused by female uh, adolescent, not adolescents, like, like teenagers, you know, going through when, when emotions are heightened and they're, you know, you know how teenagers are just crazy. Yeah, pretty, um, pretty and, much every bad thing can be traced back to a teenager, <laughs> including poltergeists. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So like, like, you know, books flying off of shelves and glass breaking and, you know, pans falling, stuff like that. Um, you know, the first of all, look around your family members and, and ask if you have a, you know, female teenager lounging about or, you know, or a teenager. There have been 
documented, um, you know, male teenagers as well, kind of being the cause, the root cause of... They're attracted to angst. They're attracted, the poltergeists themselves are attracted to angst, yeah. or the teenagers? Well, teenagers have no choice, they're just angst. <laughs> they... <laughs> poltergeists are attracted to the angst. <laughs> angst driven. <laughs> So, gosh, did you did you watch any any of the other Poltergeists beyond that first one? I mean, I know that mm-hmm. one was like that's the essential movie to watch. You've got to watch that if you watch horror movies at all. But I know that they made like what like five, six more or something did like. They make that many? I remember. I know I watched. The they made a few one, more. But I don't remember much about it. Yeah. It's kind of they set the bar pretty high with the first one. Oh, and then, they did. Yeah, and they then did. it's kind of nowhere to go but down from there. <laughs> And was it in the first one? I've got this weird memory of some kind of thing that's like just the upper part of a body wiggling, like crawling, wiggling down a hallway. Was that in the first one? Does that sound familiar? I don't think so. No? Some kind of like worm demon? Mm, I don't think, not in the first one, I don't Uh. think. Because I don't think they ever actually showed anything until like towards the end when like this, something in the swimming, like when the swimming pool broke up and uh, the ground broke open. Yes, yes. And that took place in California too, right? Yeah. Yeah, something to do with the earthquake or something, or I I don't know. There was some some crazy California thing. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that is very loud. So that is the fifteen minute timer going off. How, how, how we we did it? We made it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. went fast. I don't know how mm-hmm. we did. I mean, we you know we we covered uh, three different topics. Um, couple of them i barely knew really anything I, I about th- but uh, i think yeah, we learned everything about everything yeah a li- little bit all of, the things uh, yes a little bit about all of the things so that is going to do it for our first our very first uh thf um i will be seeing all of you next tuesday for our regularly scheduled episode we will actually be diving into a handful of the mandela effects themselves I hope y'all don't like thinking that you already know things. Um, Please rate and review the show. It'll help out more than you can imagine. Uh, I know, and I'm guilty of this myself, but uh, you think that your little rating and review does nothing, but you never know whether that might be the, the, the thing that tips the scales for a new listener just clicking through to give me a shot. So pretty please with a cherry on top also if you liked this first thf and want to contribute to the fun i'm looking to fill this here tinfoil hat uh with more terms and concepts of the paranormal it is a big hat to fill lee can you confirm the more the more random the better (laughs) the more random the better give me something weird there's a lot of stuff out there that we haven't heard about. i would love to just get more topics that that i have absolutely never heard of and maybe i i will just go you know what I will just go off and just start thinking what I think it is. That'll be fun. So anyway, it is a big hat to fill. Uh, So plenty of opportunity for you guys, my audience, to participate. Just send over your list or suggestions to paranormgirlpod at gmail.com to add to the pile. And I shall do so. Uh, Any last thoughts, Lee? Mm. Yeah. No, I, think, I think we, I think we covered everything. I think we I think covered we, everything yeah, for, I'm, I'm, uh, for this crazy uh, THF first debut. Go watch Poltergeist. Uh, I feel I'm kind of in the mood to watch Poltergeist now. I want to watch a scary movie. Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. All right. All for now, folks. Stay safe. Keep the nightlight on and sleep with one eye open. <laughs>